Welcome to the Daughter Arise channel. My name is Yvonne and this channel is all about bringing you content surrounding childhood sexual abuse. On this channel, I share things to do with my experience. I also share news stories that I come across and add commentary and my thoughts to them. Also as well, I interview survivors from time to time on this channel and their supporters in hopes of raising awareness about childhood sexual abuse. So if this is the type of content that you're interested in, please hit the subscribe button. Also, if you like the content, please hit the thumbs up button. So today I'm coming to you with a story from the UK and this story is from the Daily Mail. I will leave a link to it in the description box below for you to check out for yourself. But this story is about Jimmy Savile and Cyril Smith. And the knighthood committee said they would have been stripped of their knighthoods for sexual abuse if they were still alive. So it says serial sex offenders Jimmy Savile and Cyril Smith would have been stripped of their knighthoods had their predatory behaviour been exposed in their lifetimes, the Honours Forfeiture Committee has said. The committee said it will now issue a statement saying forfeiture proceedings would have been initiated against an honours recipient if credible allegations are made against them within 10 years of their deaths. Savile and Smith are the first subjects of the new policy. A statement regarding Savile issued in the London Gazette, the official record of government business, referred to the Director of Public Prosecutions, finding that he should have been prosecuted in his lifetime. It said, The Forfeiture Committee can confirm that had James Wilson Vincent Savile been convicted of the crimes of which he is accused, forfeiture proceedings would have commenced. In a statement about Smith, the Forfeiture Committee noted Greater Manchester Police's conclusion that there was overwhelming evidence the politician had sexually and physically abused young boys. The Forfeiture Committee can confirm that had Cyril Smith been convicted of the crimes of which he was accused, forfeiture proceedings would have commenced, it said. Orders of chivalry are a living order, meaning the honour falls away upon a person's death and therefore cannot be removed posthumously. But the scale of the abuse by both Smith and Savile prompted the Forfeiture Committee to change its policy to make it clear deceased recipients would have lost their honours if they had been exposed in their lifetime. Former Deputy Cabinet Secretary Helen McNamara even gave evidence to the long-running independent child sexual abuse inquiry in 2019 about orders of chivalry given to abusers. Her evidence covered calls from the public to have some mechanism of removing honours from deceased individuals. Under the change of policy, the Forfeiture Committee will issue a statement when the allegation of criminal behaviour is made within a decade of a person's death. The crime must also be reported to the police and the police must make the decision that the allegation is so serious it warrants that a full witness statement must be taken from the accuser. Further updates to the policy also introduce new hard triggers for the committee to automatically consider forfeiture proceedings against living individuals. So as you just heard from that story about Jimmy Savile and Cyril Smith, this honorary forfeiture committee has been set up to look at stripping certain individuals of their knighthoods. To be honest with you, who really cares? I think it's just a little bit ridiculous, you know, that the forfeiture committee are coming out saying all these things now, when it's been a decade now since they've both passed, what is the point? They're both dead. They both don't care about their knighthoods. I'm sure they've got more pressing matters to think about, you know, where they are. But at the end of the day, it's more about the victims and the survivors that are left behind. And I'm sure that they don't care about these knighthoods. I'm sure they would much prefer to have justice. I'm sure they would have much preferred to be believed at the time when they tried to report it. Because these two were quite high public figures and very few people believed that they could be capable of these types of depraved acts just because of who they were in the public eye so you know all this type of stuff they're talking about I just think it's a waste of time how about doing something when these people are actually alive it's the same when these allegations came out about them they waited until they had passed and then all this stuff came out about them why wait until after they've gone it's better that you deal with things with action at the time that they are alive people were more likely to believe that you mean what you say and that this is a credible process so that is my thoughts on it. Until the next video, take care.